Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So, why do I have like caution tape up on the screen? Uh, it's in. Please disregard Wizard Grifter Games emails, block them. Why do we have, why are we talk about this? Well, uh, it's an email from Sunday, by the way, Sunday evening. Well, on Sunday, uh, Don Samora released the video. I covered it here where uh, Don showed that he was in possession of order information uh, for pretty much, I guess, every order made through whatever the date was, April or May, uh, through the Dungeon Hobby Shop or and or uh, the TSR website. And Don said it had credit card information. Now, and Don called it a data breach. We're going to go into what a data breach is. I have some stuff on the screen that's, that's below this email. But let's get into this email first. All right, we're going to address the email. This is going to be, um, I would assume... Justin's words. So, from Sunday, September 4th, 10.05 p.m., please disregard Wizard Grifter Games emails. Block them. Okay. So, please disregard the last email you received from Wizard Tower Games. Don Samora, CEO of Wizard Tower Games, is a... Let's see what he said out in this mass email. Is a liar, a real grifter, and a thief. I, I know somebody's going to remark on the uh, capitalization of this letter and where things get capitalized. I'm not. Uh, TSR did not have a data breach. More lies from our X printer Wizard Tower Games. Now, what is the definition of a data breach? According to Trend Micro, a data breach is an incident where information is stolen or taken from a system without the knowledge or authorization of the system's owner. <clears throat> okay. According to. Well, hold, on, hold on, Rich. According to Tech Target. Dot com, a data breach is a cyber attack in which sensitive, confidential, or otherwise protected data has been accessed or disclosed in an unauthorized fashion. And there's a lot of different sites that define it differently. So, if the definition of a data breach means that it was unwillingly appropriated or acquired by a third party, then you, he's right. It's not a data breach. Because Wizards of the Code, no, sorry, sorry, TSR, slash Central Hobby Shop Museum, did what? They emailed files, I guess Excel files, with all this data to Don Samora. And I basically got lost in his spam folder, apparently. So, why would they email, Don, I'm saying they, because it could be anybody at TSR, but as we've been told by Ernie, TSR is only one person. But we'll use the proper term in this case, they. Uh, why would they email all this information to Don Samara slash Wooden Tower Games? Well, the only person or only entity that can answer that is TSR or the person or persons that are the ones running TSR. I don't have any inside information as to why they would send that information. However, they don't deny sending it in this email, by the way. Follow along. We do apologize for not vetting this Wizard Tower games better. Okay. The only data breach would be this con man, Don Samora. I, oh, 
that, that that that's the data breach, right? There's no data breach, but this is the data breach. <laughs> uh, having your oh, sorry, my fault. I was reading the actual uh, punctuation and sentence structure as it was written. There's a period which he usually leaves out that he put in, then that belonged there. So let's go back and read this sentence a second time. Oh, sorry, no. I, I didn't. I didn't mean to misgender anybody. They over at uh, TSR added an extra period in. So the only data breach would be this con man, Don Samora, having your contact information, comma. So, wow. So you're not denying, that's not, that's not even a denial that they sent it out and, and sent it to Don. Which you can't deny that. We've seen the email. So this is saying the solution to um, us giving your information to uh, a third party, please block Wizard Tower Games through your email. Oh. Because that apparently is the solution. That'll take care of all your issues. Just block Wizard Tower Games. Uh, Does it say anything about covering? No, um, no. Hold on. Know, hold on. Rach, uh, Rach, uh, Rach, 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 hold on. Yeah. Hold on. You're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, sorry. You should have no more problems from the individual. Now, this following line is all capitalized, and it's important. And, Rach, this applies to your question. Mm -hmm. He does not have your credit card info. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So now, the claim is from... Like he's screaming TSR. at you. He doesn't have if I if I if I capitalize this, it makes it even more truthful. Because um I think it just means he's screaming. Yeah, well he's screaming. So um he does not have your credit card info. I am going to interject at this point and say, here's my understanding. My understanding is that I have a straw buyer. This is an understanding. This is actual truth. I have a straw buyer. And when Don learned he had this and it came to light, I said, hey, Don is so-and-so. I gave just the last name on your sheet. And he goes, comes back to me with first name, last name, mailing address, phone number, and PayPal email. So, my straw buyer and, and the same column with the PayPal email would otherwise have credit card information. So, my straw buyer, I could confirm because I had the details on my end and say, yes, my straw buyer is on this uh, contact information, on this billing information. And thank God, my straw buyer Paid by PayPal. Look at that. Thank God you paid by PayPal. Who, who thought I'd be saying that? So let's step back a bit. After that, after Don made his announcement that people, if they were concerned, could reach out to him and he would confirm if they're on the list. Um, I believe about a dozen people, last time I talked to Don, were on that list. And a number of them had credit card information that he verified. So I am, uh, it's upon uh, my belief and information, or my information and belief, depending on how it gets written into uh, letters. Um, I was informed, and it, it's my belief that I'm taking Don at his word, that these because he's already proven to me he has contact information of my straw buyer, so that was we know that. Um, I do believe that he has all this info now. Is it technically a data breach? Well, here's something I found out interesting today there's no federal law for this shit. Would you believe that? Oh, really? No federal law because it isn't a bank institution, it isn't your 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 health records. 
it's all these little things. It's just uh, some uh, minor Personal small. Personal identifying. Yeah, but it isn't. No, but Rach, it's, it doesn't fall under federal government law because there's no uh, entity that regulates. Ah. So here's the thing. If you think that your information may have been part of this, not data breach, but certainly, um, I don't know, uh, misdistribution yeah. of your of your of your personal information, your billing information, potentially your credit card information, you should probably contact state authorities and and. Maybe even your credit card. Maybe yeah. Uh, the credit it, bureaus have right. to look into it. It's free from each of the three once a year. Right. Because here's the thing: it's uh, you have to be proactive to take care of yourself. Now, this is not proactive, by the way. And don't don't. This is an observation to tell people ignore just block <laughs> block block these e block these emails. And by the way. Did not give the actual email of Wizard Tower Games to block. But if Wizard Tower Games emails you, block them. Block them ahead of time is not a proactive way of saying, hey, listen, um, we're looking into this. Uh, we don't believe that it, it's, it actually uh, happened as is being said. We don't believe that uh, Don't Tomorrow Wizard Tower Games has your information. However, we are doing a full investigation, and we have contacted a, a independent third party to do a full investigation and do a forensics of our our system to ensure that there was no no. It is uh, calling somebody names, labeling somebody, and telling you to block their emails. So, um, and sorry. By the way. And I like th this. This to me is the kicker. Going to go back to that last sentence because because I didn't finish it. By the way, I didn't finish that last sentence. So you, gonna, it's an interesting. Uh, he does not have your credit card info, comma, and we have a new printer for the Dungeon Crawl board game. So why? Oh, joy. Why would that? Why would that come up? Because people on that list. Including my straw buyer, paid for stuff back in February, March, April, and haven't gotten jack or shit. So I would suspect I have no inside information, but I would suspect that the fear is is that this reminded people that hey, maybe you don't have your product. Uh, maybe you need to uh, uh, talk to your your payment service, whatever it was, your credit card, uh, PayPal, and, and see if there's any way you can you can fix that. I'm not saying for sure, but that's what it seems like to me when it's like, we don't have your, he doesn't have your credit card information and uh, we have a new printer and, and don't do chargebacks, please. Please. Uh, sorry for the wait, but this was out of our control. Uh, need I say that months ago, and I could probably still dig up the photo, but I don't, I'm sure you'll remember it. The photo of the stack of stuff waiting to be mailed out from the Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum, the, the stack of cults of uh, Abaddon and the uh, Dungeon Club board game. And when people were asking about tracking information, uh, we don't have that because we don't, well, yeah, okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm, not saying stuff wasn't mailed. I'm just saying I know my straw buyer. Right, there's a was, lot of discrepancies. There's a lot of discrepancies in this. From TSR. So um, do your due diligence. Don't let me do it for you. I can't do your due diligence. You, as a consumer, you as a member of the gaming community, do your due diligence. Uh, I would check. I would say check into this. By the way, he closes it out with. Me wonder like. Oof. What does any literate person read this stuff and sort of just go, okay? I, what, like I this email? It, it, it's that uh, crime scene tape email. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but by the way, he ends it with, please be aware of this person's history as we are now. No period at the end. Uh -huh. uh, 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 here's, here, here is um, 
something that's going to be, again, my observation. Okay. If I was sent two emails and one was properly formatted, properly written, one or two typos, uh, and that's it, trying to inform me. And one was written where, uh, let's see, uh, Don Samora, comma, CEO of Wizard Tower Games, comma, capital I is, capital I, and is a capital L liar, comma, capital A, small r for real, uh, grifter, capital G, comma, and a uh, capital T, thief. I, and in an end, the subject was, please disregard Wizard Grifter Games emails, block them. I would, for me, my perspective would be like, okay, this is like one of those uh, Nigerian uh, <laughs> scam emails where when you read it, it's full of typos and they figure they're only going to snag. Really, really. I mean, I think those typos are, are, are intentional in those letters. It's, they're, they're so poorly written because it's like, wow, we need somebody really, really stupid to get hooked onto this letter. <laughs> so they got to be able to ignore all this and think it looks right. And I think that I don't, I'm sorry. Okay. If I was going to send out a letter, bad mouthing another company, bad mouthing uh, We're another. To reassure your, this isn't your a reassure. This, this is not a reassuring letter. Yeah, it's this not isn't. At all. And because the attempt is there, but it really falls. Far well, the short. attempt, here's the thing the attempt is there, but it's more of an attack on Don Samora right. than an actual telling you, the consumer, what happened. Right. I don't know what happened. It, it could be, hey, uh, some some rando was staying at my house and sent out all this information on that day, and we don't know where it all landed. Oh, thank God, we only sent to Don. Oh, thank God, Don hasn't done anything nefarious with it, as and opposed honestly, to. Honestly, shouldn't shouldn't people's PII be having a little bit more security than uh, just when? Some guy was at my house. He started sending stuff. When it comes oh, to things like you know, account like, inform account information, credit card information, that is supposed to be. No, it's not. I, I don't know if it's a law, but um, everything that I've read and I've done a lot of reading on this because it was it, it, it interests me. My background. Um, it's supposed to be encrypted. If you're keeping credit card information, especially, yes, it's supposed to be encrypted, and encrypted is yes. not. A spreadsheet without encryption sent via email. I mean, that's fuck, it's probably not even password protected. Well, it wasn't because. Jesus so, so, but, but again, folks, do your own. Listen, nothing that I say or Don says or TSR says makes a hill of beans difference. When it's your money and your potential credit card information, your PII, take steps to ensure that you yourself are protected. Right? That's what it comes down to. Okay? There's, 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 are, are we saying that there's a, a he said, he said going on here? Certainly. Sure. Certainly. Um, I would tend to, uh, and this is human nature, be more inclined to believe the individual who can use proper sentence structure. That's that's me. Okay, that's how and actually I, produces what he says he's going to. Right, but I'm just saying, like this this email is not. If I I've had to tell my 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 straw buyer what's going on, and they are not too happy, and. Uh, well, suffice to say, they have a legal background, so they may be taking their own actions. But, you know, I, I don't know how many different states fall into this, but it might be an action in every state. But that's not, that's not, it, it, it can only, only you can protect you in this situation. So, folks, do so. Do so. Okay, that's, that's my advice. Protect yourself. All right. On that note, and again, what a weird ass bag of shit McGill this turned into. Um, we're still in the midst of the world of the endemic, you know, endemic stuff. Use your common sense. 
I, as I'm fond of saying now, do you see any common sense attached to any of this today? I don't, but hey, maybe we have different uh, di different levels of common sense. Uh, be safe, be well, God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well, and I will be back again tomorrow. Uh, Bad Mike and I will be having Tom Wilson as our special guest on Talking Crit, 8 p.m. Eastern. Looking forward to seeing you there. Oh, and by the way, uh, James Raggy, who was supposed to be this Friday, is bumped to the end of the month, the last Friday of the month. So, shit happens. We will have him on, just not as soon as we thought. All right, folks. Later.